Okay, today I'm going to be talking about how you can discover who your target audience is. And knowing who your target audience is really the key of your business because everything you're creating, everything that you're writing, everything you put on your blog, everything that you write about, everything you talk about, um, every email you send to out, you send out, everything is all geared towards helping your target audience and specifically solving the issues that they struggle with, um, addressing their pain points and helping them move toward what it is they desire. So your whole business, your whole online business is all um, centered around your audience and what you can do for them. But the question is, how do you know who your audience is and what they need? And ideally, you want to come up with what is called a customer avatar, And what that is, is just one person out of your target audience that you can kind of put a face to. And um, that's someone whom uh, you, you know, um, a lot of different, you know, specific questions about them, like what their, you know, what their age is, what their gender is, what their level of education is, um, uh, what it is they do in their free time, uh, what it is that keeps them up at night, different things like that um, go into knowing who your customer avatar is. So um, today, though, um, I'm going to go into how you can find out who this is. So um, so for my um, business, um, my audio business, most of the people um, from my experience are younger and they are mostly men um and uh but other than beyond that I don't know too much um about about them beyond that so um I'm going to go in and create what is uh called a reader survey and this is something then that I will put on my blog as soon as I get it up and um this is really important so uh, if you have a blog or if you don't have a blog yet, you definitely want to put a reader survey on there. And so I'll go into how you can create a reader survey and what questions you should ask to better um, learn about your audience in this video. And um, it really doesn't matter if you get a ton of responses or not. You know, just a few responses um, are better than nothing and can really help you uh, know where to start. And speaking of starting, uh, I'm using SurveyMonkey uh, to create this video. And we are going to start from scratch. And the survey's name, uh, we will call it Reader Survey um, for Audio. But obviously, you could, you could do it for other, whatever your topic is customer feedback create survey all right so this takes you to a place where you can add in questions you can add a logo um you can add a title and so forth you can even uh change the theme there's different themes you can choose from and you probably want to choose a theme that's close to what your brand's colors are but Right now, I don't know what those are, so I'll just do this seafoam because it's simple and easy to look at. All right, so I'll start with the page title, and I will say, um, I would like to get to know you better. Please answer as honestly as possible so that I can better learn how I can help you uh, achieve your goals. There we go. This is what people see at the beginning. Now we can add questions. And so this first question, if you want, you have, there's like two types of questions you're going to want on this three year survey. And, um, one is demographical and the other is uh psychographical so we're starting we're gonna start with demographical and um demographic information and we'll start with what is your gender 
And nice thing about Survey Monkey is it kind of has these um, pre-written up questions to help you. So I add that and it automatically puts in the uh, the two answers that are possible, male and female. Um, that, wow, that's that's a little politically incorrect. Um, just having the two there, but uh, hopefully none of you are offended and we are going to move on. Age, I think, I think, what is your age? I think this is a pretty safe question. Um, and again, SurveyMonkey puts in all of the ranges for you, which is really nice. And new question, let's do level of education. Yeah, I'm actually spelling education. Education. All right, highest level of education you have completed, and someone can come in here and they can select what it is they've achieved. So that's pretty cool. And then we will move to um, what is your income? What is your approximate average household income? Nice ranges there. And a new question. Marital status. And a new question. Now, uh, nope, we're sorry. Okay, but what best describes your professional pos like professional pos position? Let's just do it. Best description: your employment. Employed. Blah, 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 blah. We'll do that. Um, and then, um, which categories? For, oh man, I can't spiral today. Categories from my blog. Do you enjoy the most? So, um, this is obviously not one that SurveyMonkey can put it in for me. I'll have to put in the, the answers myself. Um, so, yeah, you'll want to do this for your blog, too, depending on what the categories are uh, for your blog. And um, I'll have a later video going into what the categories are for my blog. But right now, I know that there'll be something along the lines of inspiration slash productivity music production and career and allow more than one answer to that question and I may go back and you know tweak this survey in the future but right now this is a good start so that's seven questions um, another one is what is the biggest challenge you face with your music obviously you wouldn't do music you would do whatever it is uh your businesses if you're um teaching uh cooking or something you would ask what is their biggest struggle with their cooking or if someone you're teaching someone uh, online business, you might say, what's the biggest challenge you face in your business? So since I'm teaching music artists and producers, I am using music. And I am going to make this a, not multiple choice, a comment box so they can write in their answers. Oops. Okay. Comment box. Save. A new question. And... I'll ask, what do you want most out of your music? Again, this would be not music for you, but whatever it is that your business is teaching. And again, we'll do comment box, shave, and last question. What keeps you up at night? Very personal question, but... 
not quite as personal as our first question up here. What is your gender? So, yeah, we're kind of, we're getting in there a little personal. But um, then people don't have to answer all these questions. They can choose which ones they, they answer. And we'll make this comment box. All right, so these are a good list of questions to start out with. Um, so if you can, you know, learn what keeps them up at night, you can kind of learn better what their pain points are, what they want most in their music. You can learn what their desires are, what the biggest challenges are, what you know what they're struggling with, and what you, how you can help them. So these are really powerful questions. And then also just knowing who your demographics are really help for how you tailor um, your message and um, your advertising too. Um, so yeah, so once you have this done, um, you can then put it up on your blog, um, go to collect responses and here's different ways you can share your, uh, survey. You can even send it out in the email, uh, to your email list if you want to, but right here I'll probably just use the embed on website. Um, but I don't have a blog yet, so I'll be doing that in the next, in a few, uh, Pretty, pretty soon in upcoming videos, but right now I don't, so i um, just going to leave, um, leave you here, uh, and I hope they found that helpful. Um, let me know uh, if you've created a survey um, in the comments, because this is, you know, really important for learning who your audience is, so you can know how you can better help them, so definitely everyone should be creating a reader survey for their, um, for their blog. So, uh, hopefully this may, you know, you can just copy these exact same questions too. You have a nice start and, uh, let me know what kind of responses you're getting. You know, um, depending on your audience, you might not get that many, but if you just get, you know, just a couple that can go a long way. So definitely stay tuned. And in my next video, I'll be going into further developing your brand and uh, creating a brand slogan and a value proposition. And uh, this will, again, really help you get clarity on what your business does and who you help. So definitely stick around. Uh, please like this video and click subscribe so you can make sure to get, to get the rest of my videos in this series as they come out. And I will talk to you later. Bye.